Accessing these ravaged Bahamian islands is a massive challenge. As more rescue and recovery teams begin to make their way in, the more stark this devastating ordeal becomes. The number of people killed by the Category 5 hurricane is growing. The US Coast Guard is at the very beginning of its rescue mission. Because of debris in the water, the only safe way out is by helicopter. The extent of what they're dealing with is plain to see. But they are reaching the most vulnerable survivors who endured a sustained hours-long attack at the hands of Hurricane Dorian. Getting them to safety with such limited means is a delicate and slow process. The British Navy is also doing what it can to assist the relief effort. These are the conditions that led to the destruction, a holiday paradise obliterated by powerful wind gusts of over 200 miles per hour and torrential rainfall. Kimberly is four months pregnant. She was finally evacuated after hours of hell. Those children dead, floating in the water, it's bad. Nobody thought a hurricane, we never used to be scared of weather. We are like, oh, a hurricane, but this is a different story. Other evacuees don't know what's next. There's only relief at finally being safe. I've been in my house like 30 years. 30 years? And you watched it yeah. disappear? Uh, yeah, when I look up again, I look right up in the sky. The roof was gone. So, we, so you're here and you're smiling and oh, you're safe. Girl, you gotta give God thanks. God is good. People still on the islands need these supplies fast. That's all of it. That's a heavy thing. That's a wrap. Because of the state of marinas and airports in the worst affected areas, helicopters are crucial in getting those supplies in. And they're also absolutely vital when it comes to bringing people in. Those most vulnerable, sick evacuees who may be injured, elderly, immediately get into these ambulances and are taken to hospital in Nassau. The road to recovery is desperately long. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Nassau, the Bahamas.